Hey YouTube, it's me JD. It's good to see you again. Unless you're new here, then hopefully you stick around. Um, for today, I have Horse World 3D. I had never played it before making this video, so I went in completely blind. Let's just jump right into it. Upon beginning the game, there was no story to speak of. An old farmer woman tells you to meet her husband in the barn and see the new horse that arrived. You go to the barn where there are nine horses to choose, and I just realized she doesn't even, or he, I guess, he doesn't even tell you or mention which horse is new. It's kind of strange, but anyway. So there's nine horses to choose from, and you get to pick whichever one you want, which begins the tutorial on how to care for the horse. So they have a curry comb to use on the body, a softer brush for the face and legs, a comb for the mane, a brush for the tail, a sponge for the eyes and nose, a hose to rinse the body off, a hoof pick, hoof oil, feed, water, you clean the pen, and then you can pet the horse. All of these mechanics involve swiping the mouse back and forth really fast, and that's it. And each action also awards a small amount of experience points. Yeah, that's just a lot of, a lot. But anyway, so after you're done grooming, you name the horse and you're taken back to the main screen where you can choose where to go next. I decided to go to the saddle barn to see what kind of customization options there were. And they have um, saddle pads, saddles and reins, and then a decorative item, four of each to choose from. Not great choices, just kind of standard. Naturally, I went for the pink frilly unicorn looking thing because obviously. After that, I went to the jump course. There are three different options to choose from and then each one of these options has 15 courses to get through. One thing I do have to say is there's a third person camera angle option while riding and I honestly can say that I appreciate that. So the idea of this is to get through the course at the correct pace while clearing the jumps and stopping on the marked areas. It was really hard to understand when the best time to jump was. There's this circle that glows, making it seem like this would be the time to jump. But when I hit spacebar on beat with this button, I felt like I jumped way too early and would still get penalties. Although not every time. Oh, and the galloping sound effect is very generic and in no way goes with the animation. There's also this horrendous sound that chimes every single time you correctly go through a jump or stop on the mark correctly. The only benefit to it is that you know you did it right, but man, does it get annoying. Your horse eventually runs out of energy and needs to be taken back to the stable to recover. If you go through all the grooming and feeding steps, the horse's stamina goes back to full and you can continue the jumping courses. You also have the choice to ride a different horse if you'd like, but still you need to go through the grooming and feeding regimen. Whenever you clear jumping course levels, you receive horseshoes, which you can spend on items in the shop. You also get experience points by way of stars, which goes towards leveling up. You gain a horseshoe with each level earned. The shop has a number of different saddle styles, blankets, accessories, and bridles. There is also a trophy system, which once earned gives you a certain number of horseshoes depending on the achievement. Besides the jump course, there is also an option to ride in the countryside. There are six different areas to choose from, ranging from desert looking scenery to mountains, beach, or snow. The different areas have courses to run. It's not free reign access. There's no free riding at all. You gallop through these courses at breakneck speed. I mean, I cannot believe how fast this is. As you go along the paths, there are horseshoes you can collect. To set or beat the fastest time, it's recommended you use a faster gait between the obstacles, as if someone would take the time to trot or, heaven forbid, walk between the two jumps on these courses. 
The last choice as far as writing goes is the writing ring. There are two different map choices, one containing 25 different courses and the other containing 40. And actually, ironically enough, this is the first place you're supposed to go after grooming the horse. Looking back at the footage, I see that the old man did tell me to go to the riding ring. So I guess I missed it. Or forgot. You'd think since it's meant to be a tutorial, and for kids under the age of 8, the game would direct you better by making it the only choice on where to go. But anyway, the riding arena is a tutorial of sorts to the very in-depth riding mechanics. It was at this time, while reading the tutorial instructions on how to control the horse by swiping up, swiping down, tilting your device, that I realized this game was originally a mobile game. Which, looking at it, that's pretty obvious. How I missed it, I couldn't tell you. You won't get the medal for the courses unless they're completed under the allotted time set for that course. I started not listening to the color-coordinated dots on the ground and only galloping until I had to slow down to either stop or go through the cones just long enough to get the correct pace. That made getting the medals pretty easy. Unless, of course, the game decides you didn't time the jump right and gives you a penalty. It was like a gamble every time I jumped. Visually, it looks like you don't clear any jump ever. Take this run, for example. Every single jump, it looks like I hit the bars or land in the water, yet I got a perfect score. I also waited to hit jump on a couple just to see the timing, and it honestly never felt the same. It's just random RNG. You pretty much repeat this process using whichever horse you'd like, leveling up and gaining horseshoes, and buying different items to decorate your horses. Technically speaking, if you want to go through and get the medals on all courses and collect all the decorative items, you'd have quite a bit of game time to put in. Why you would ever want to, though, I'm not sure. Maybe for a young kid on an iPad it might be entertaining enough, but considering it's priced at $9.99 on Steam and has mixed reviews, I can't in good conscience recommend this game. Thank you so, so much for watching. Please like and share the video if you enjoyed it and hit that subscribe button for more content like this. Comment down below if you've ever tried this game and if you did, what your thoughts were, or if there's anything else you'd like to see me play, let me know. Until next time, bye guys.